you know, beds are only a bed. If, if there's no people around that bed to provide the care, um, then then it then that care can't be provided. Nearly two years into the pandemic, and healthcare workers are opting out of the industry in record numbers, creating a double-edged crisis in hospitals and nursing homes across the country. Nurses didn't sign up for this. Nobody expected to be working through a pandemic. Long before the pandemic hit Canada, nurses were sounding alarm bells over staffing numbers. In Quebec, the province is now offering up to $18,000 in bonuses to help retain some nurses. And in Ontario... In hospitals, for instance, we're looking at anywhere from 18 to 22 percent vacancy rates in registered nurses. Not only is recruitment a challenge, but McKenna says nurses nearing the end of their career adds a layer of urgency to the issue. Pre-COVID, when we surveyed them, they were telling us they're going to work a little longer, just not sure, but, you know, planning retirement, but not right away. That story is turned upside down now. They are retiring. Our mid-career nurses are saying, boy, if things don't improve and there isn't more staff, I don't know how long I continue. I can continue. Just when things seem the bleakest, another change is threatening to make matters even worse. Vaccine mandates for healthcare workers. Several provinces have already or will be introducing mandates that threaten suspension without pay if someone decides to opt out. In Quebec, unvaccinated nurses will have their licenses suspended as of Friday. Nearly 4,500 are not adequately vaccinated. Other provinces and territories will soon face the same problem. You know, we will lose nurses and, you know, but boy, oh boy, you know, our situation is pretty serious out there as far as shortages go right now. So I'm, I am worried about what that looks like. Healthcare workers are petitioning for better pay and working conditions to address recruitment and retainment. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.